Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. Welcome to a game called Tooth and Tail. I just heard about this game and I had to get it because I've had a craving for a real-time strategy. Uh, this game is... it calls itself Real-Time Strategy Distilled. It... Real-time strategy usually are sometimes called war games where you command an army and usually this kind of game will have a lot of resource gathering and managing and like you know camp building to raise your army and all that but I think this game is much more simplified where you mainly just command an army and have them quickly build fortifications here and there but nothing like super major or um, difficult to manage like a game like Starcraft which is like crazy uh, management and all that but anyway I really wanted to try this game because I actually kind of had an idea for a game like this back when I was in high school I went to a friend's, ha friend's house and played uh, Warcraft 3 that was back before World of Warcraft even came out but I had an idea because Warcraft games have you fighting as elves, orcs, humans undead and all that and I had this idea what if we had like woodland creatures like deer and wolves and bobcats fighting each other I just thought that would be such a cool thing and now years later somebody actually came up with that idea. So this game I guess has animals in the forest fighting wars against each other. So uh, that's enough gabbing about it. We're going to see what it's like. I'm going to go ahead and do story mode. Another thing that really sold me on this game is that I believe it has procedurally generated maps like every map is procedurally generated so that you can't just memorize and do everything correctly the um I told my son we won't work the farms no we won't eat the food of beasts we'll eat meat as any civilized animal does but when the civilized called a harvest and the city feasted on my boy, we took to the warriors and lit the country aflame. Who decides the fate of animals? The long coats? The common folk? The KSR? Or the civilized? Whoever triumphs will go hungry no more. Those who fall will. Okay, so a little bit of exposition there. The civilized are fat from the feast. Now is our chance. So, I think... Man, this music's really loud. I'm gonna... See if I can turn it down. that change it? Yeah. Okay, so I think this game might be similar to uh, Pikmin. It was a game where you have one guy that can control the other. So if I walk, yeah, and a valid arm with two. It's very much like Pikmin. I'm going to um, turn down the effect as well. I'll know after this video if that's a good setting. So I have them re holding up to. I'm holding it, but it's not. Huh. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> I've got little crossbow or gun wielding squirrels. <laughs> oh man, I lost most of my guys. Brothers, dig some warrens to bring in reinforcements. I don't seem to have... doesn't seem like I had to do anything. They just started building stuff on their own. Oh, nice. We've got like badgers with with mortars now whoa ouch so my guy's got health I gotta make sure he didn't get killed <laughs> got bird enemies. I wonder if we're gonna need some kind of anti-air units. Air, yeah, air units coming, incoming, fall back behind our defenses. They don't seem to be attacking us. Okay. Am I... Doing the right thing. I don't know. Nothing new seems to be happening. Am I supposed to do anything else? Oh, what? Did I do something wrong? We don't seem to be making any progress here. Wait, it's fall back behind our defenses, so we're we supposed to go back here? Okay, so hold this to retreat. So maybe we can only, ah, we can only, ah, okay. So we can only kill flying enemies with these things. That's what we need to do. If I rally while next to an enemy, my army will focus on it. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good. <laughs> I knew I must be doing something wrong there. So we had to fall back even more. Oh, hold the focus. There we go. It's very simplistic. So far, I've just been moving and pushing R2 to do stuff. I'm sure there'll be some other new controls eventually. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Little squirrels with guns are so funny. Ouch. Uh oh. Starting to run low on squirrels. Oh, here comes some more. So do our... So do the buildings just create more squirrels for me over time? I guess. Okay, so we need to destroy this thing. That was easy. The long coats will feast. OK, 
Okay, so that was kind of a tutorial mission. The revolution has begun! A Longcoat's Oath to Freedom to Wealth in a State of Nature, Longcoat's Rise. So Longcoat's, I guess, are the quote-unquote good guys in this storyline. Sleep well, my child. I promise you the civilized shall feast on innocence no more. So from what the storyline said, it sounds like his son was eaten. I think he's a mouse. His son looks like a mouse. He doesn't look like a mouse though. I'm not sure what he is. Hey, a boss. Glad you weren't hurt out there. The bone pit riots were just the beginning bash. We may have driven off Archimedes for now, but he'll soon return. And when he does, some of us will see the wrong end of his feasting table. It's kind of freaky that the almost thing it seems like cannibalism because whoever loses the war gets eaten, but it's just the law of nature in the forest, I guess. They look they took him last feasting day, a mere morsel of a boy. Hey, a bo hey, boss. We're doing just like you said, planning for the long haul. Turns out after your little stunt in the bone pits, Archimedes reached out to his... to his old comrades in the KSR. Now he's got... Grist mills churning out meat in Black Sledge, and the quartermaster's got her KSR goons keeping watch. The civilized. They're building up their larders, raising an army. But we have a surprise for them, yes? Just like you said, boss, we got tunnels running all the way out there. We'll take out those civilized grist mills and be back here in time for cheskers okay there's a lot of terms in this game that I don't recognize yet black sledge uprising in the hardest of times loyalty isn't earned it's bought under the KSR's nose bellified gathers his army of paid insurgents is this like a List of objectives. Distillery Brothers. Conscripted into service and certain of their doom, the untrained Distillery Brothers charge into battle fueled by, fueled by fermented acorn courage. Oh, okay, so these are like the units. Oh, okay, so those are the gun-wielding squirrels that I had before. Those are called Distillery Brothers. And the Badgers with Mortars are called the Freight Union. Customers beware. While the Freight Union guarantees speedy delivery, their contract provides no warranty on the state of goods upon shipment. <laughs> yeah, if they fire them out of a cannon. Okay, so I don't want to do that mission just yet. Uh, oh, I can I not go through this door? It was a prize. I was a prize fighter before I bought the old South. Sold off half my trophies to get it going. Bought them all back two years later. Okay, so. I guess I can't go through this door yet. I've got to complete this objective before I can see the other stuff, I guess. Okay. Unless a different button opens the door. No. Okay, so I guess I've got to do this guy's mission to go any farther here. Alright. 
Let's do this next battle in this video. Destroy enemy grist mills. Build B1s. So that first battle was super short and just barely gave us a taste of what the combat is like, so... I'm gonna do at least one more battle. Tactics will be necessary here. I should start by building a warren. Okay. I just press X to build a warren. Okay. Oh. Okay. This warren will automatically... I can build other unit types as well. Select freight union. With what? Oh, there we go. Build warren. Oh, I see, so it's the gray that is where I'm building. Is there a limit to how many I can build? Looks like I can... <laughs> I like their little voices. Is this, is this still being built? It says zero of two. Okay, now one's been built. Okay, now that I have an army, it's time to go on the offensive. I can rally my entire army or just units of a particular type. So L2... Ah, I see. So if I select a certain unit type and press L2, it will just rally that type. Cool. So, basically these are... Well, they're both kind of ranged, but I think the squirrels are shorter range and the mortar guys are longer range. If I need... A refresher on the controls, I can always ask for help with that. Okay. So should I build more before we go? I think I will. Is there any limit to how much I can build? Is there... Because we've got this windmill with pigs farming, so there may be a limit based on how much farmland we have. Maybe. Wait till them both complete all their things. Making all their units, I guess. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I haven't played real-time strategy in a while. And this, like I said, this is very much like Pikmin. Where you just make units and command them. Just run around with them and tell them what to do. Here we go. This should be, hopefully, big enough to go out. I should attack air units with Distillery Brothers. Okay. Now let's just bring everybody. Oh no. My guys are getting killed. Uh oh. This isn't going well. Ah. <laughs> uh, retreat. Uh. Man, they got massacred. Do I need more distillery brothers? I just want to call them squirrels. <laughs> the Stillery Brothers is uh, kind of confusing. I can't tell if there's a limit. Oh, I see. Every time I build one, it seems to lower the food in the bottom left. But our food keeps going out because the pigs keep making more food. So as long as I don't run out of food, I think I can keep making more. I think. 
So there is some resource management, because I think we need this farm in order to keep making units. But we got plenty of food, so... Anyway, see if we can kill these birds now. Yay! Strength in superior numbers. So my guy can't, I don't think my guy has any combat ability. I just, ah, I just command my troops. I can't actually attack myself, which is fine. So of course this is an indie game. I only play indie games and it seems like it's going to be a pretty fun indie game. Ah. I don't mind at all that it's kind of a pixelated game. I've always thought that graphics really don't matter. It's gameplay that matters, ow, the most. Although I do like games with pretty visuals, but when, you want, when you're gonna play a game that's really fun, it all comes down to gameplay. Visuals aren't that important if you're looking to have fun. I should attack defenses using the freight union. Uh-oh. I don't have very many freight union. So do we... Oh, whoa. The pigs fight back. <laughs> the pigs are shooting at us. That's funny. Uh oh we're probably not going to have enough to take this down. Ah. Uh, oh. We, we killed that. That's good. Can we, like... I need more of these mortar guys. What if we can get back from here? <laughs> oh good. But I'm gonna go ahead and make some more mortar dudes. As I call them. <laughs> mortar badgers. It's not letting me build any more, so I may have reached some kind of maximum. Or there just isn't any ground that works. I guess I can only build right around this farm. There's no other... Okay, so I guess that's all I can build right now. So... <laughs> Yay, we win. I think. Yep. Nice, that was fun. Very simplistic. I'm sure it's going to get harder as I go along, but I really like how simple and easy it is. It's not like all super complicated resource management. The revolution has begun. Nope, I don't want to replay the mission. Yep, this door opened because I, I beat that mission. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. I think that gives us a good taste of what Tooth and Tail is like. I'm really excited to play this game. It's It's been a while since I played a real-time strategy. And this game really takes me back to Pikmin. I loved playing Pikmin and Pikmin 2 on the GameCube. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this little new indie game that I'm trying out. I know I enjoyed it. 
Uh, I am Mac. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day, and I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac.